Traffic signs are important indicators that direct and inform commuters and motorists of dangers ahead. The National Bureau of Statistics has shown that there are about 11.8 million licensed cars on Nigeria's roads as at fourth quarter of 2018, compared to 11.6 million in the preceding year 2017. With an estimated population of 198 million, Nigeria's vehicle per population ratio is 0 0.06. Road traffic signs serve several purposes. Some are placed on the roads to point out directions to motorists. Some are placed to ensure the safety of motorists and pedestrians. How much of these signs are known to Nigerians? That shows that the road is um, free for, for somebody to walk. That the, the, the traffic light is indicating where and it's time for you to walk, to walk across the, uh, the traffic. It should in case need be. Actually, it's meant for uh, white children are meant to cross the road. So there's need for every uh, vehicle that was passing by at that particular moment to stop by for them. Facing me is don't turn left. Because if it was like this, I would say don't turn right. So it's, it's, if you see the sign showing like this, it's don't turn left. It's a sign putting it on restricted areas where it is not necessary for such a vehicle to enter, especially a vehicle that has lowered uh, height. It's not to enter in such a place. Road signs are typically represented as symbols or annotations. Every motorist and in some cases pedestrians are expected to have an understanding of what these signs represent. It is crucial for authorities in charge to produce road signs with symbols together with their meanings spelled out. We need signs. Every country, every city needs traffic signs, otherwise there will be chaos on the roads. Drivers would not be informed. Nobody would know who has a right or who does not have a right. What can you do? What can you not do? Are you going to warn me about an impediment in front of me or not? So signs are critical. It's not about anyone taking advantage. It's about us utilizing it for our own safety benefit. In a city like Lagos or any large city, there are more pedestrians on the road, more than vehicles. And pedestrians are more vulnerable than vehicular movement because a vehicle is a matter that is enclosed and so the occupant of a vehicle feels safer. Whereas a pedestrian is vulnerable because it's only their body structure, so on impact of anything, there will be serious injury. Any new road being constructed in Lagos must have a requisite walkway. Zebra crossing, <laughs> typically in Nigeria, um, some drivers, when you tell them like, oh, why have you not allowed the pedestrian to cross at the zebra crossing? And the driver will turn back and say, well, I can't see no zebra. You must, as a motorist, you must stop and give priority to the pedestrian to cross. That's the purpose of zebra crossings. Inappropriate parking on the road is another disturbing habit. Where can drivers park on the road in case of necessity? Typically speaking, when you go and apply for a driver's license, you are foremost trained to say to you that where you park is very important because it borders on safety and it borders on obstruction of other road users. And so the first job of any driver or a motorist is that wherever you've parked, you must ask yourself the question, is it safe? Is it obstructive? Do I have any traffic signs that bans me from parking at this spot? If you're able to answer all those questions in the affirmative, then you're good to go. And it's not just that. You have to also ask, can where I have chosen to park, can it be perceived by enforcement agency to be obstructive? or just not an appropriate place to park, i.e. it is not appropriate to park on an express road that even has three lanes, even for one second. Because why? From a safety point of view, vehicles on an express will be on a higher speed. If you park there and you obstruct, you're forcing them to change lanes. 
Now, forcing someone to change lanes on an express on high speed is very dangerous. More than likely, it will lead to a crash. So you can't park there. If you go to a market and you do not go into an off-street parking space or go and find a side street that is not obstructed to parking, and you now say, oh, because other people are parking there, I just want to park for one minute. One minute is more than enough for an accident to happen. One minute is more than enough for obstruction to other traffic, uh, traffic flow to occur. So your one minute to you may be small, but for the country, for the state, for agency like ours, one minute at an inappropriate place is obstructive. And then that vehicle, if we have a tow vehicle, we will tow it. What are the transportation agencies in Nigeria doing to educate citizens and motorists? With a program like yours, it's all part of the education links that we have, that we use, Federal Safety Corps, LAMATA, LASMA, any agency that has anything to do with safety on the roads, with transportation, would always look for an avenue to educate the citizenry. There is a purpose for the road. Your purpose is to move from point A to B, not to abuse other road users. Don't take advantage of vulnerable road users like children and the elderly and pedestrians. Don't say because you're inside your car that you just have rights to do whatever you want. Obey the road signs and remember not to drive under any influence. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.